Here we live at the Kalro Kakamega where the Africa Honey Consortium has held a meeting with the stakeholders in beekeeping industry to introduce a new technology and model of honey farming. Joining us right now is the CEO of Africa Honey Consortium, Mr. Andrew Igala. Maybe if you can enlighten the viewers about this new technology and model of honey farming and what they expect in the long run. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, our modern technology, we are bringing two technologies on the ground. We are bringing about the hive. Uh, our hive is called African Langstrong. African Langstrong has two, has two abilities. First of all, it has a big super and also it has a, what we call pest control system whereby we insert in the honeys, in the beehives, and then now they'll control pests in entering the beehive. We also, the apparatus system is about data driven and also full traceability. In our data we have what we call a QR code whereby it is put on the beehive. The farmer or the producer groups are registered and then it is monitored through what we call apiary management system, that is bee inspection and hive management. And then from there, we also do the harvesting. And then the harvesting, we don't miss the batches because we need to have the food traceability from one area. So we are ensuring market within our system. That is what, that's why we call apiary system. It is a honey traceability system that we can be able to enable to trace honey where it has come from. No matter what village, up to the supermarket, you can be able to trace your honey. And that also brings in the quality aspects. My question would be: What, how would the, will you, will the Africa Honey Consortium reach out to the communities around Kakamega, or is it just the students and the institution? Uh, basically, we are inviting everybody, uh, all stakeholders in the Honey Valley chain, and even those who are not. You want even those who are doing crops because bees are pollinators. So you want to embed also in the crops. When somebody is farming, let him also embrace honey as an income, also for nutrition and also a medicinal value. And we want to work with the stakeholders on the ground because uh, we don't want to uh, to be, we want, we want to be part of the county programs whereby we work with the, with the cooperatives department, work with the cultural farm associations, any other stakeholders working so that we can bring the honey valuation into their program. So we'll be working with existing partners on the ground, but those who approach us and those whom we shall talk to, because our, our, our training is continuous, so we're welcoming anybody on the board, they can contact us, we'll be there working with them, but we want to work with all stakeholders because already they have the farmers on the ground. So the best thing is just to add an additional income generating to the already existing farmers. Thank you. What, one of the biggest problems in honey farming is the quality control. Would you please talk to us about that? Sure. In fact, 75% of the world honey is unadulterated. Now, we want to bring an aspect whereby you can control our quality, not only for the export market, but also for our domestic use, because honey that is unadulterated causes us diseases, that is reducing our household budgets and even the country health budget. So by giving quality honey, we are also improving our health and reducing the cost health burden. So it is important to us to maintain quality for our own health and even for our local regional and international markets. Yeah. And right now we're going to be joined by the director of the Calro Institute, Dr. Joseph Munyasia. Sir, if you would tell us about this meeting that we was held today and what you expect of the stakeholders that were present in the meeting, please. Uh, thank you very much. Um, today we have had um, a meeting uh, it was a launching of uh, a partnership between Carro uh, and also uh, African Honey Consortium. The aim is actually they want to use uh, Carro as a, a basis or as, a, as, a, as, an, as an area where we are going to start uh, uh, promoting uh, honey uh, production uh, in this area and also in Western region as a whole. So what do you expect of the student at Aches who are in the meeting and what do you think they will do after this? Now, um, because the way uh, the Africa Honey uh, Consortium is uh, undertaking this, uh, it is more going to be more uh, uh, digital in the sense that uh, even the registration of, of, of farmers and also even uh, getting to know uh, where this, uh, uh, you know, this uh, if, if activity is going to be undertaken, it is going to be online. So we are seeing that uh, most of the youths are going to get involved 
in this uh, project, especially where they are going also to be supported through uh, various financing organizations. For instance, we have just received a uh, UNITAS who are ready to, uh, to provide a finance through a loan scheme so that after they get uh, they harvest the honey they are able to to pay back whatever they would have been given just like th like other uh, uh, financing organizations that uh, are uh, have been supporting farmers in crops in livestock and other enterprises so we are seeing the youths are really going to get into this because we know um, most of the youths uh, you know they they don't like doing work that is so laborious so we are seeing uh, this as an opportunity for them and that's why we have brought them on board. We want to keep them capacity, we want to train them so that they can get the knowledge. And so when they get involved, they can still, they can be able to see money out of this. We know for a fact that you just said that youths don't like laborious uh, activities and we know that uh, the communities around Kalro and Kakamega, uh, they are those people that keep bees. Will you be involving them in these activities? Oh yes, uh, indeed, because most of these uh, youths who have come here, they are just on field attachment. So obviously they are going out to join their other farmers in the community after they have attained uh, the knowledge and the skill. And many others are also coming because these are coming from different universities, they are coming from different colleges. Uh, so they come here for, uh, for internship to be trained on the technologies which are going on. So definitely they are going out to be uh, members of the, of the community out there. So with this uh, knowledge em em empowerment, uh, we are expecting that they are going to be uh, the promoters of this uh, very important uh, uh, new enterprise uh, that, uh, is, 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 that has not taken little root in, uh, in the region for now. Thank you so much. The ball now is in the court of the stakeholders who are in this meeting and we expect that they will incorporate the communities around and they will venture into beekeeping in a more aggressive way. Reporting for NKTV from Kalro Kakamega, my name is Charity Moema.